channel. So today uh, I have what I hope will be a very exciting video uh, because I will be upgrading this Ventera 70s Telecaster Custom. Uh, if you've been watching the channel, uh, you'll know that this is a uh, genuine Fender USA Kunafe wide range humbucker that I installed shortly after getting this guitar last year. It sounds fantastic. This pickup is a Tim Shaw design 70s of single coil. Like I can see the white cloth wire. Uh, I think that if you were a country player or someone uh, looking for a cleaner, twangier uh, Telecaster tone, uh, this would be a perfect pickup. But I'm more of a rock player. And even though this balanced pretty well with the regular humbucker uh, that came stock in the guitar, I think it sounds a little bit thin and brittle uh, compared to the Kunafe pickup. So, I have here a Lindy Fralin high output Telecaster bridge pickup. It has the stock stagger, and let me get this open. And as you can see, uh, just by looking at it, you can tell that it's uh, quality components here. Nice base plate. Uh, you can see that that's a good uh, point of view of the stock stagger. Uh, white cloth wire. Uh, and of course, I always love these pushback wires on pickups. See the, maybe the Fralin. Uh, looking at backwards. Uh, tag there. High output telly on the other side. So I'm really excited to get this in. Another exciting thing. This is the first Lindy Freeland pickup I've ever ordered. And it said a two to three week lead time, uh, which is very reasonable for a handmade pickup. And it wasn't nearly that long, maybe about a week. And I get an email uh, asking that I call their office because Lindy had a few questions about the polarity of this pickup. And I had a conversation with Lindy Fralin himself, Ooh, dropped it there, uh, about the uh, polarity of this pickup and whether or not this would be in phase and hum canceling and things of that nature. And it was the man himself uh, that spoke to me on the phone about that. So uh, I was really impressed by that that it's not a case that uh, a well-known pickup maker uh, just puts his name on them after he's established and uh, maybe has a crew to do that for him. But uh, literally the man himself spoke to me and even gave me some advice about uh, how to adjust this pickup, which is not one of his, just a uh, Fender USA pickup uh, to get the best sounds out of it. So that was just a great experience that it shows the uh, care that they take in making sure that every order is right for their customers. So I'm very excited to get this installed and to see how it sounds. So what I'm going to do is I will record some sound samples with this pickup. I will install this pickup and record some sound samples with it. We will do a blind AB test and see if we can tell the difference between which is which. And I'm very excited. I've been wanting to try these pickups for a long time, uh, particularly someone who likes higher output uh, Tele Bridge pickups. I think this might be my perfect pickup on paper. I'm really excited to see how it sounds because it's a true single coil, but it's higher output. And I think that'll blend really well with this humbucker. So enough of me talking. I'll get to uh, installing the pickup. Uh, I try to show you a few little clips of that, and then we'll get to the blind test and come back with the results. So let's get it done. One thing I love about the Telecaster Custom is even though it's a pain getting on this, all the screws unscrewed, I think they're like 16, you have these great cavities to work in, which makes everything a lot easier. So this is still the stock bridge pickup in here so i'm going to pop that out and we can compare and contrast how they look okay we have the bridge off and this is still the stock pickup uh, in the body next to the fralin pickup 
you'll see very, very similar in construction. See the base plate there? Very similar. But one thing I really like about the Fralin pickup is even though this specific guitar does have a seven and a quarter inch radius, the stagger on the magnets is not quite as high. I don't want to get them too close to each other, but as you can tell, uh, I think that the D-string magnet on some of these vintage style ones like this is simply too high. But as you can see, the stagger is much lower on the Fralin pickup, and I'm very interested to see how that affects the sound. So now that's all that's left to do is to get this old one unwired and the new one in. Okay, I have the Fralin pickup in. I've done the tap test, so it does have power going to it. And uh, before I check it out, I did want to make uh, clear that this is actually, this Ventera Tim Shaw design pickup is actually an excellent pickup. Uh, it also has the cloth pushback wire. Uh, it's just that for this particular guitar and balancing with that pickup, the Kunafe Humbucker, I wanted something with a little uh, fatter sound with a little more output. If you were looking for just a twangy traditional Telecaster sound, this is an excellent pickup. So I did want to be clear that there's nothing wrong with it. It works great, sounds great for that purpose, but I wanted to try out something a little higher output. And uh, also consider uh, the Lindy Fralin high output against some of the other higher output Telecaster pickups that I have, uh, because I'm always in the search for the best one. So this would be a good opportunity to test that out. So I'll get the pick guard and the bridge screwed back on and we'll try it out. Okay, the guitar is put back together and let's see how it sounds. This is the bridge pickup going into the crunch channel of the Boss Katana. <laughs> Let's see how it sounds in the middle position. Really happy with that. Uh, all that advice Lindy Fraylin gave me worked out perfectly because it uh, sounds like it's in phase, hum canceling, and just sounds great there. So. Uh, what I'm going to do now is play you the blind sound samples. Uh, I've already obviously recorded them with the stock pickup. I'm going to record the uh, same things with the new pickup. I will not be using this amp, so that won't be a giveaway. Uh, what I'm going to do is play some through a Vox AC-10, some through a Marshall DSL-1 mic with an SM57. So that's what you will be hearing. And the next time you see me, I will be back with the results of the blind A-B test.
before I reveal which pickup was which, I wanted to say again that none of the amp settings were changed for any of the sound samples. They were all the same. Uh, this is a new set of strings with the Fralin pickups, but it's the same type of string, same gauge as what came off the guitar, and those really weren't that old, so that made very little and perhaps no difference in the sound. So, that said, guitar A was the Telecaster here with the Lindy Fralin pickup, and guitar B was the same guitar with the stock Ventera pickup. First, I think the Ventera pickup sounds great. Again, if you were looking for a very traditional twangy Telecaster sound, it's fantastic. But I think that the Fralin pickup definitely was fatter, rounder, didn't have as much bite as the Ventera, but it still had a lot of bite. And I think it just sounded great overall. Uh, balanced extremely well with the Kunafe humbucker. Uh, I will say that I think in the room, the difference between the two pickups sounded bigger than in the sound samples, especially in the combined positions. Um, but they both sounded great, but uh, I'm definitely really happy with the Lindy Fralin high output Tele Bridge pickup. I think it's going to accomplish exactly what I was hoping it would. And I also want to say these pickups are not the one-to-one uh, -one comparison in the most similar pickup in the Lindy Fralin line to the Ventera uh, bridge pickup. That would either be the, it used to be the stock telly. I think it might be called the hot telly now or something like that uh, for Lindy Fralin or the blue special. Because this is higher output, which is what I was going for. So it's not the most uh, direct comparison as in the most similar pickups between Fender and Lindy Fralin, uh, but this is exactly what I was hoping for for this application because I have an American uh, original 60s Telecaster that has the pure vintage Fender uh, 64 pickups, which are very traditional. Uh, actually, probably the uh, archetypical uh, traditional Telecaster uh, bright twangy pickups. So since I already have that, I wanted something a little bit fuller and fatter to balance the Kunafe wide range humbucker in this guitar, and I got exactly what I was looking for. Again, the Ventera is a great pickup, and if you're wanting the, all the twang and all the bite, you'll probably be happy sticking with that. But if you want something a little fuller and a little thicker and a little fatter while still having a twang and bite, this Lindy Fralin high output is absolutely perfect. So what I'm going to do now is play a few sound samples with the Lindy Fralin pickup and uh, let you hear a little bit more of it. Let's hear some more of the Lindy Fralin high output Telecaster bridge pickup. This is going directly into the Ultra Gain channel of the Marshall DSL-1. <laughs> Now a little bit of the classic gain channel.
Now we are on the setting with both the Kunafe Humbucker and the Lindy Fralin Bridge pickup. I think the Fralin pickup definitely sounds better than the Ventera on its own, but it sounds much better than the Ventera did combined with the Kunafe Humbucker. And I uh, will try it out for you. It's a great sounding combination there. It's kind of noodling right now, giving you an idea, but. Okay, time for my final thoughts. Uh, I can't say enough good things about this pickup or the process of buying it. Uh, the turnaround time was fantastic. Uh, you can't get any better customer support than Lindy Fralin talking to you himself uh, to make sure that the uh, polarity and phasing are correct, and they are because, well, let's listen to this. <laughs> middle position it sounds great um, installation was a breeze high quality components sounds fantastic for someone who likes hotter than average telecaster bridge pickups this is just about perfect it has more clarity than most of the humbucker sized bridge pickups that I've used such as the uh, hot rails and the uh, chopper T, uh, but it it still has extra thickness and girth to it, so it's not a thin sound. Uh, those other pickups I just mentioned are great if you want more of a, a true humbucker sound, but this is a true single coil. It sounds like a Telecaster. It has the twang and the bite, but the bite is tamed just enough to where it's not harsh, and it has a nice uh, punch, a roundness to it, balances really well uh, with this wide range humbucker. It says on their website, it's great for balancing with humbuckers. Uh, it's perfect. It is literally perfect for that purpose. Uh, I know at some point, uh, Bruce Springsteen, who is uh, you know my favorite and an underrated guitar player, and I love his guitar tone. It's usually the Telecaster lead tone I'm going for, uh, for a more rock sound. I know at some point he played Lindy Fralin pickups. I'm not sure if it was this specific one, but I wouldn't be surprised uh, if it was because it reminds me so much of uh, his great lead tone. And and again, this is a true Telecaster pickup. It has the uh, plate at the bottom. It's not a humbucker. It has the twang you want. It has all the things you want a Telecaster pickup but a little bit more output and a little bit more oomph while not turning into a humbucker, which again, I think is a great sound. If you saw my video comparing the dual rail humbuckers uh, that are single coil size in Telecasters, the guitar I played the most over the years is the Seymour Duncan Hot Rails. Uh, 
in the bridge position. So I'm definitely not knocking those sounds, but if you want more of a true Telecaster sound with the extra oomph, uh, this is a great way to go. I can't recommend it enough. I'm wanting to say, and I think I just put it up, I think it was $110, which is a fantastic deal, uh, given what you will pay for a lot of brands' pickups that you might not get the same level of customer service and uh, individual care. Of course, I can't guarantee that uh, Lindy Fralin will call and ask you if there's any questions personally, but uh, uh, talking to him on the phone was a tremendous experience. He's a, a very, uh, very nice man and obviously uh, a genius when it comes to pickups, and I learned a lot just in our brief conversation. So uh, he really took care of me. Uh, this guitar sounds amazing now that it has the authentic Kunafe wide range humbucker and Lindy makes a uh, wide range humbucker. I think it has the Alnico 5 magnets in it, I'm wanting to say. Uh, that would definitely be worth a try too. But uh, this could have been a vexing process getting the phasing right and so on and so forth. But uh, he gave me all the information I needed. Uh, it worked great the first time. I didn't have to switch any wires or do anything else. Just perfect the first time. So, again, if you're in the market for a higher output Telecaster pickup, uh, highly recommend that. I'd love to try the set in uh, one of my other Telecasters, perhaps. And I'd also like to try some of his other pickups. And this has only encouraged me. And again, I uh, full retail price was paid. Uh, there is no uh, sponsorship or endorsement. I'm just another customer. But uh, I'm a very satisfied customer. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, keep on rocking.